are you your parent do you know even without your knowledge you are a cause for creating diseases in your child if you wish to know how and how to avoid that please stay tuned in this video till the end each emotion choose to reside in each organ in our body the traditional chinese medicine explains how every emotion choose to reside in each organ and how we need to find balance between the positive and negative emotions of each organ to avoid serious health risk let's begin our day 12 emotions control our organs in our 21 day free online yoga workshop transform 2023 with me ranjani from atmic yoga if you are a beginner here please do check out our previous videos by clicking the link here and in the description box below let's get started according to the traditional chinese medicine the major five organs in our body are heart kidney liver lungs and spleen let us know which emotion affect these five organs when they are out of balance just know that no emotion is unnatural or unhealthy anger sad grief love hate all negative and positive emotions are part and parcel of the human system only when it is excessive or when it is repressed it gets stored in each organ and creates diseases for example we parents tend to control our child's emotion in all possible ways don't shout don't get angry don't show your sad face don't cry we tend to shame them for expressing their natural emotions out this makes the child to control their emotions and repress their emotions throughout their childhood which makes it difficult to process their emotions or keep them in balance when they become an adult which is the root cause for major diseases in life let's see what emotion affect each organ the first organ is heart heart is the place for love joy hate and sadness as a human it is natural to feel sad or show hate towards something which you don't like but the key here is to have love as much as you have hate in your heart to find the balance it is important to feel joyful for all the things that you have got in your life in the same way we feel sad for our failures imbalance in heart emotions create depression sleep issue agitation and even leading to cardiac issues The second organ is liver. Liver is the place for anger, envy, frustration, kindness and generosity. When something is not happening as per our plan, it triggers anger. Excessive or repressed anger can lead to mood swing, resentment, frustration or it can manifest in the physical body in the form of headaches, migraines. tension in the neck and shoulder disrupting the natural working of your liver the third organ is lung grief is the place for lungs that is the reason when you are experiencing grief we can feel our chest heavy and difficult to breathe this makes us to feel tired and fatigued too pranayama and meditation for grief management makes us to find comfort within us thus reducing the enormous grief and releasing it from our body and mind grief management is a vast topic and i have conducted a free session on grief management few months back if you are interested in getting the session please do let me know in the comment section below The fourth organ is kidney. Kidney is associated with fear, phobia, trauma, calm and peace. Prolonged fear being in fight or flight response for long duration can affect our kidneys. We can notice that children when scared they urinate. The kidneys, the urination and your ears all are interconnected. I have spoken about this in my Shunya Mudra video. Please do check it that here. Childhood trauma is one major reason for creating phobias in adulthood. Try to find balance between your calmness and your fear, peace and your phobia to make sure your kidneys are healthy. The last organ is spleen. 
spleen is associated with worry anxiety and overthinking when these emotions are out of balance it disturbs the natural ability of spleen to take part in our immunity and digestion prolonged anxiety or worry lead to weight gain and fluid accumulation in the body it is important to find solace and satisfaction in the present and the will power to let go of the past to protect our spleen this is a vast topic and i have tried my level best to cover it in one small video one best method to control to manage to balance our emotions is meditation so for today's activity please do practice the guided meditation linked here and also in the description box below let me know in the comment section once you're done with the day 12 activity the positive aspect of positive emotions are when they are more when they are out of balance it rarely causes physical emotional or social issues but when the negative emotions are more when they are out of balance you know what it creates so keep your emotions balanced try to have the positive emotions more stored in each and every organ so they dance happily in joy we think our organs our mind our thoughts all are different entities and thus fail to resolve our health issues when you understand all are interconnected in a body and one thing affects the other we will be able to find the better version of ourselves by just making few small changes in our lifestyle all you need is the will power to take control of your body and your mind Stay healthy and stay happy. Do subscribe to Atmik Yoga channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we post the next video on this Transform 2023 series. Do follow us in our Instagram and Facebook pages by clicking the link in the description box below. You can also join with us in our WhatsApp community where you can discuss about health, fitness and diet related queries. The link will be given in the description box. Do share this video with your friends and family to make sure they keep their emotions in balance. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Nandri Vanakkam.